It's rematch time north of the border as the DC Breeze travel here to Varsity Stadium in Toronto to take on the hometown rush. This is a rematch of last year's East Division Final. Both teams jockeying for a spot at championship weekend. So it's the Breeze taking on the rush. The Breeze got here by beating Montreal on Friday night. That was an interesting game. Almost a three hour lightning delay after the first point of the game. Isaiah Masichelli with the pull and the Breeze gets this game started on offense. They are missing a couple guys today. Joe Freund, who was a big scorer for them. And we see a high pass and an early turnover for DC. Masichelli for Toronto as they look for an early break. Hits Mark Lloyd underneath. He immediately steps into a big forehand and it drops in on the far side and is hauled in by Jeff Powell for the early break for the rush. Lloyd Blake for the DC offense. Hits Tyler Monroe on the under. Matt Kerrigan looking for Wodach. And Jeff Wodach makes the catch, and he is in the end zone. Member of the World Games team for Team Canada. And the top player against the Breeze this season for the rush. Puck up the backhand sideline, floats perfectly into the end zone for the Toronto opening hold. Interesting to see Mark Lloyd on the D-line to start the day, as a big huck goes up from Lloyd Blake into double coverage. It's hanging up there. And it's taken away by the rush. Lloyd catches in traffic. Jason Hune. And now a flat flick to the end zone. So another chance for the rush. Oh, and a poach block across the middle on a dangerous pass. Block credited to David Bloodgood. Castine looking to the end zone. Kind of a dangerous pass there. But he gets it into Schaffner, and DC holds after a tough point. As we talked about at the start of the show, I think the def defense that is able to limit the other team's potent O-line more is going to have the best chance to win this one as we see the rush looking great with their O-line. Monroe pumps the backhand, takes the short backhand to Wodach, who rips a hammer down the field. And he gets it there for Matt Kerrigan. And Kerrigan throws a little pass into the end zone for Brian Marshall. Quickly moved to Kevin Moldenhauer. Nice throw out into space by Moldenhauer for Markham Schaffner. Now looking to the end zone. Big oh. sky. McDonald climbs the ladder and gets a break to tie it at four. Norton. Tan swings it over to Jeff Powell, and Powell goes into the end zone for the score. Click. Jeff Wodach slashes and gets open. Brief double team, and then Wodach pops a little backhand back to the dump. Big Huck looking for Wodach. Oh it's no! Tipped. It's tipped up again oh! and caught. Oh my! Jeff Wodach hauls it in. Called on the mark there against the rush. Schaffner bombing a backhand. And great job boxing out the defender. At the and somehow the Breeze able to claw all the way back and tie it up with a crazy late no pull as we see a run through. Easy block. Kolick. Disc swings for David Shields. Shields looking to the end zone, and he drops it in easily. Down to Thompson McKnight. Bounce to the sideline for Harris. Harris to the end zone. That's money. Love to see that. These two teams have a great deal of respect for each other. They play against each other a lot. And McKenzie, after invoking the integrity rule, shows a little disrespect with the hand block. Just bent by that hand block, so the rush. Boyd comes back to get it. Norton on the strike. Zips a forehand to the front cone for Massa Kelly. 10 seconds. 
kind of a lot of time. Can't dilly dally, but you do have a chance to throw a couple passes before you take the shot. Castle. Hammer. Massive. And oh, caught by Del Rico Johnson after the tip. Connor Armstrong hits Carroll. Forehand to the front of the end zone, caught for the score. To midfield. Lodach swings to Blake. Blake pumps the forehand, then takes the forehand, and it's taken away. Maybe a split second. Powell maybe through some contact, finds Norton. Norton thought he may have gotten away with an extra <laughs> step, but he did not. He gets rung up for 10 yards. Swing to Lloyd. Lloyd firing deep for Massac Kelly. Oh, that's good. Blake working in the backfield. Pryor catches it on the near sideline. Has to put up a high pass and it's intercepted. Great defense in the red zone by the rush. Immediately looking deep. Jeff Lindquist just bombs one up there. And look at the box out and the score from the rush. Not a ton of love between these two teams as we watch DC's offense march down. McDonald with it, now in the red zone, hits Castine. This D-line offense has looked better than the O-line so far in this game. Centering pass for the rush, and Harris gets the easy under. Immediate continuation, Huck looking for Carroll. Tipped, but Carroll makes the catch anyway. Kolick looking deep for Monroe, bodying. And Monroe goes up over the top of Lloyd. He can't make the play, and a whistle goes against Mark Lloyd, and he's got to be a little frustrated because he was in front of Monroe there. As the foul happened in the end zone, and he immediately throws an easy backhand in for the score. Cam Harris, again throwing down the field and throwing another assist. You can see a lot of switches. To the end zone. Oh. That one. Cantone to Kolick. A lot of Breeze players behind the disc. Perhaps a little tired. And look at the shot to Blake in the bread basket. Quiet crowd here in Toronto as they look at the rush. About to give up a break. Lefty backhand into the end zone for the score. What a great throw. Carroll, working against Castine. Goes up the line and a nice catch by McKnight. Del Rico Johnson nearly gets it. And then Burrell to the end zone. It's snagged by Carroll. Castle up ahead to Monroe. Five seconds to go. Monroe's going to have to go to the end zone. He does. And it's caught for the score. It's Schaffner. And Schaffner just throws a poor pass as he looked there for Matt Kerrigan, but it was easily blocked by Mike McKenzie in the lane. And now a little blading swing pass and then a punch back into the middle for McKenzie. He's got bookends and Toronto has an early second half lead. Blake, inside backhand, huge layout takeaway. Jeff Powell just blows by Tyler Monroe. Now a shot down the field, goes over the head uh -huh. of every defender, and Mark Lloyd comes down with it for another break. Jeremy Norton throws it ahead, and it's dropped, and quickly attacking are the Breeze. Jonathan Edwards is not able to handle that pass a little above his head. Castine fires one in. Tan has been given his marks trouble all game. Now a shot for McKenzie. He's got it. Max Castle has to throw out of the double team and unable to do so. Lloyd dishes. Win to back to Lloyd. Lloyd fires a huge blading forehand cross field. And he's got another assist as the rush take a five point lead. And that one could have been a dagger if there is such a thing in the third quarter. 
Big Hawk from DC the other way. Oh, what a layout. Mark Lloyd. On, uh, foul on the block, I think. And a foul called. And now some discussion between the players. Integrity called. And absolutely. Take a look at that. Overturning the referee's call, saying that was no foul. First option, so drops it off. And then a big swing to Castine. Castine muscling a forehand, looking for Johnson. Johnson's got it. Back to Carroll. Carroll along the line, and a great grab and one for Burrell. So he'll take the 10-yard penalty as well. No easy feat. Easy throw into the end zone. That slippery field. Marin. Ahead to win. Win. Look into the end zone for McKenzie. Big gainer to Neely. Now Blake in the red zone. Blake hammers across, finds Cantone. Nice score for DC. Ooh. Layout D on the under. Great play from David Boylan Colchin. And Breeze with another chance here. 28 seconds on the clock. Bloodgood, backhander. Somehow that's not blocked and a whistle. That will stop the clock here. And a bit of an awkward spot for the referees here. And ultimately the result is the same. DC gets a break, 15 on the clock. And a zoney from DC on a turnover in the red zone. Six seconds on the clock. Picked up. Dished. Oh, Goal, no. DC. Disaster scenario for Toronto. Norton will walk to the disc. <laughs> Two seconds on the clock. Immediately stepping into a backhand. Looks Players like glad they're underneath. It's oh! tipped, and Lloyd nearly had it, but he couldn't come down with it. That turnover quieted the crowd here at Varsity Stadium. Big backhand of the back line. Caught. Is he inbounds? Yes, he is. Oh. Lloyd inside forehand for Carroll, unmarked. Gaining some yards oh. up this open side. Now a shot to the end zone for Carroll. And the rush get on the board here in the fourth quarter. Out of their opening option, work it back to the far side, and it's McDonald creating a lot of offense on his own right now. Now he steps into a muscled forehand. Oh, look at the throw from McDonald. Cantone. Looking deep. He's got Johnson. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Johnson oh, goes oh. up and somehow switches hands in midair to make the catch. <laughs> Unreal grab by Johnson. Shot to the end zone. Nobody but Schaffner's there. Drop back for Martin. Around to Powell. Lloyd, uh, Norton. a great move by Lloyd. Big Huck. And a huge sky. Big grab from McKenzie. Lloyd Blake to the sideline. Looking deep, Schaffner's there. Looking for options. What a throw. And a great little bounce backhand from Schaffner. Pull plays. Adrian Yearwood. Zips one ahead to Burrell. Burrell. Oh, and a great job by Massa Kelly to get inside position to catch that mid-range huck from Burrell. And he goes into the end zone. Dropped off to Kolick. Six and a half to go in the game. And a great Jason coach block Wynn. as Wynn just sneaks between the two DC cutters and gets the disc and Norton bails him out. Having a blow up game. McDonald bombs the forehands. Some contact and DC can't come down with it and a push off called against the rush. And the crowd does not like it, Massa <laughs> Kelly very frustrated. <coughs> and 
there was definitely some contact. Integrity rule again. And once again, the Breeze say no foul. McKnight to Linquist. And Johnson ran out of steam. Back to Kolick. Running a lot of this offense through Kolick. <clears throat> High release flick from Kolick into the end zone for the Breeze score. I think he touched every second disc there. So now right on the goal line, DC looking to punch in the break. McDonald. Backhand is he in? He is signaled in. The clock is on their side. They can swing it all day. Two and a half to go in the fourth. McKnight looking deep for Linquist. Boylan Colchin giving chase, but he can't <laughs> get a hand on it. And Linquist Ooh. and nearly hand blocked, but McKnight gets gets it through. Double team again. And some Mugging on the mark, not called, but it doesn't matter as McKnight <laughs> plays through the contact. Centered up to Schaffner. Rush coming out in a... And thrown right Ooh. to Mark Lloyd, who is hanging out in the deep space. Lloyd with a huge hammer to Powell cross field. And it's an easy backhand into the end zone for the Toronto score. That makes it a four point game. And with just 34 seconds to go, the Rush are sitting pretty and eyeing up a spot in Montreal. <laughs> Johnson catches a big gainer. Yeah, looks like they're trying to isolate their, their matchups that they want to try and score quick. Monroe zips one in, and Johnson with a great catch as he gets rolled up at the end of it and understandably upset. Norton, double team, 10 seconds on the clock. Masakelli gets Ooh. hand blocked. And it's a turnover. But with three seconds on the clock, it may be too little too late for the Breeze. And as the catch is made, time expires. And that's it for the game. And that will do it. The Toronto Rush are headed back to championship weekend for the fifth consecutive year. What a game.